Hello, my name is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at how we can leverage selection sets inside of SolidWorks Composer to help create our animations. So I've gone through and I've created this animation, and what I had to do was pretty tedious. Let me show you what that looks like. In order for me to put the close operations on this thing, using the storyboarding technique, I needed to select a knob and then rotate it. A certain amount, followed by selecting all of these components, box selecting the small component behind it, and translating it. Now, while this works, it does get pretty tedious when you have to do multiple steps of the same thing. So, what you can do is you can go to your assembly tab, and what we're going to look for here after you make your selection of the components that you want to reuse all the time is this icon here create selection set select all the components that you need to box add selection set and feel free to name it whatever you like for animation Now for the next step, I'd rotate my knob but instead of clicking all these components for the translate I could just simply select my selection set and translate all of those together. There you have it, that's how you can use selection sets to Composer to easily and quickly create animations or create new awesome views. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. If you like this video, please subscribe and be sure to visit goengineer.com for other great content. Thanks for watching.